What if Deku had a stand? Part 3. So, to start it off, last time I did leave out right on the cavalry battle after it. So, we're start or yeah, we're starting with the cavalry battle. Deku obviously since he's being first ha gets no team. So, he c goes into the corner of the Colosseum. Now, remember, stands can only go some amount of length away from their host, basically. So, Deku's stand should only go around two to three meters away from him, which is maybe like 12 feet, I think. I'm not sure how many. I think a meter is six feet. I mean, I could be a complete idiot right now, and it's probably like two feet, but hey, I don't know. So, like, Star Platinum can only go, I read on the wiki, like, two meters, so he corners himself, making it harder for people to get closer on him, but people also think he's stupid for trapping himself as there's nowhere to run. So, as soon as Midnight flashes her whip and yells go, and everyone charges at him, they're all punched back, kicked, I don't know, just to, beaten by an invisible force. Nobody, everybody is just like, he didn't even move. How could he, how could he beat us that easily? As Deku's just, as Deku's just like grinning, like these stupid kids really think that they can beat me this easily. As another wave of students go, as he says, Muda Muda Rush. One of you guys said it was Muda, 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 like something like that. I don't know. I still don't get it. It says Aura, or Ura, O-R-A, but then people are saying Uda, Uda, Muda, Muda. I don't know. So, basically, Deku, Deku ends up winning the cavalry battle, even grabbing some some kids' um, headbands that ended up falling off when they were trying to charge at Deku, and so did Todoroki and Bakugo, as they also grabbed the headbands, taking advantage of these people. So, after after that, it's the 1v1s. Deku obviously gets paired with Shinso, as there's no other reason why he wouldn't. And once he walks out to there, Shinso starts talking crap, saying it must be nice having a a cool cork, isn't it? As Deku just gets kind of pissed off, and he's like, Shut up. At least you were born with a cork. I had to find out my power at the age of ten. It's not even a cork. Do you know how much it... Do you know how hard it is to be bullied for ten years? And he... As this kind of shocks Shinso, but then he remembers he has to use cork. He uses cork... And that's when Deku sees Star Platinum come out and just punch the air, which kind of confuses him as then he remembers what Ojiro said, that he had a brainwashing cork. Now, in order for the brainwashing to get to him is the sound waves that um, Shinzo used to catch him by saying, gotcha. So... Star Platinum was able to hit it out, protecting Deku of being brainwashed. So, after this, Deku just stops talking and just starts walking straight towards Shinso. Now, Shinso saw what Deku did and his power. He, he didn't actually see Star Platinum, but he saw the demonstration of power that Deku had. So, he's obviously pretty scared about what's about to happen to him. I mean, Deku's legit just walking towards him. So, as Deku, or Shinso tries to run away, only for Deku just to come up close to him and punch him right out of the arena into the stadium's wall. Now, the all the other fights go pretty much the same, as the next fight is now Deku versus Todoroki. Todoroki, obviously being Todoroki, says objectively, I am stronger than you, and I will not use my father's power to beat you. 
as Deku just laughs, like, sil just, like, chuckles at this, and he's like, heh, you think you can beat me with half your power? Well, I most certainly can beat you with half mine, but I don't even think you can beat me with that. As uh, they walk out onto the arena. Deku just tells Todoroki that if he thinks he can beat him with half his power, then he's also going to use half his power. Deku, as soon as Midnight yells go, Todoroki sends a massive wave of ice right at Deku. Deku dodges it and then starts walking over to Todoroki. Now, you may be wondering how could Star Platinum go half power? Deku is just going to make Star Platinum not use such powerful punches, basically. Which, I'd say, he doesn't power up Star Platinum. He probably uses around 25% of his power for normal punches. So, that's like, almost, I'd say, 15% of All Might punches. So, everybody's just, like, getting destroyed from his punches from the cavalry battle, basically. So, Deku gets in a mid-range area, as it, instead of uh, walk, keep on walking, he basically jump runs, and just zooms right in front of Todoroki, as Star Platinum yells, Muda! And just punches him. I'm going with Muda, guys. I don't know what you guys, what you guys think, but I'm going with Muda. As uh, Star Platinum yells, Muda! And then Deku's like, Muda, Muda, rush. As... Uh, Star Platinum keeps saying, Muda, 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 and just keeps hitting him and hitting him and hitting him until Todoroki is just barely standing. Like, his knees are wobbling as he's breathing heavily, and then he just can't do... He just can't do anything anymore as he sends one last thing of ice at him as Star Platinum yells, Muda, and Deku says, Star Figure and pushes Todoroki out of the ring, which is where Todoroki passes out, making Deku, Deku the winner. As he didn't even have to use half his power, I'd say, probably around 30% of his power. So that just maybe gives you perspective or margin of how powerful he is. So 30% of his power to beat Todoroki. Or not to beat it was pretty easily. Todoroki just kept sending ice, icicles or glaciers right at him, and he just kept dodging, basically, or Star Platinum e easily destroying them. So, after that, it's Deku and Bakugo. Now, Bakugo still absolutely hates Deku. He still thinks he's quirkless. I mean, he is, but he doesn't understand how... He has something protecting him. He basically thinks that Deku's been lying, basically, and says he has somebody's quirk protecting him or something stupid like that. So, De Bakugo yells, Deku, you quirkless bastard! I'm gonna beat you! As Deku is just like, yeah, keep talking, Bakugo. You'll never beat me with your cocky attitude. As Midnight yells, go. Bakugo rushes Deku. Deku sidesteps and yells, Muda. P flips him over. And yes, Muda, Muda, rush. As uh, Star Platinum keeps saying, Muda, 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 Muda. I can't say it that fast. But he keeps saying it. As uh, Bakugo falls to his knees, as Deku says, I didn't even need to use 100% of my power. Yet you still think y you can beat me. As Bakugo grins and slowly puts up his hand, makes a massive explosion, only to see that Deku's behind him as he turns around to see a punch coming straight towards him with one Muda yell from Star Platinum. Bakugo is slammed into the arena, making an indent of his body as he's completely passed out. As Deku is just, heh, really think you can still beat me like that? I've been training for years, yet you've not trained a single second of your life. 
or I'm just gonna say Bakugo hasn't trained his cork. That's basically what Deku's talking about. You and Deku's been training his body and his stand forever, basically. So after that, Deku is awarded as the winner of the U8 Sports Festival. Deku's obviously pretty happy. He's like, all right, cool. So after that, everyone goes into the classroom to see that they have to do internships. Deku sees that he's gotten a ton of internships, and he's just wondering which one to choose. But he also sees that he has a second option, which is to be a temporary hero, which obviously is like, oh, cool, I guess I'll take this one. So, after that day, the world learned of the temporary hero. Um, I'm just going, you know how his hero costumes Jotaro's outfit in, um, part three. So I'm just going to say his hero name's Jojo. Like, I can't think of a hero name. His hero name's just going to be Jojo. I mean, it's not original, but it works. So, uh, the hero Jojo goes out on patrol as he sees he sees something now I'm not quite sure how Jotaro and Joseph found um, Dio but basically I think he was just walking out to see an abandoned street with a goldish haired kid who looks around his age just standing there as he walks up to him on, only to take a step back and he's like Dio as Dio as Dio turns around and he's like ah oh, the only other stand user in the world I thought ever since these corks came around stands have been diminishing until there's only two of us left you and me as Deku sees a star on Deku's shoulder, and he's like, what? What is that? And he's like, oh, I took your great-grandpa, your great-grandpa, I think. I took your great-grandpa's body. Body. This is his body. He's like, I thought he died on a ship. He, as Dio's like, he did. But that doesn't matter. I was on that ship, and I took his body after he died, which just pisses Deku off as Deku charges at him only for Dio to say, Sawardo! Don't know if you could, if that's how you pronounce it, but he just yells, Sawardo! As time all stops, as Dio keeps talking, and he's like, it's a shame that the only stand you deserve that the only other stand user is going to have to die by me. As he sees Deku's finger twitch or move a little bit, and his, as Deku's eyes are also following him, as, uh, as time begins to move again, Dio starts yelling at Deku, like, What? You couldn't have moved in, in, my, in the world. It's impossible. I froze time. Unless it was just a twitch. Yeah, just a twitch. As Deku charges at Dio, knowing he's going to have to take some time before he can use the world again. So Dio sends out his stand. Can't really remember what it is. Is it both Star Platinum and Dio's stand collide with a fearsome punch, sending winds farther back. As Deku says, I'll make you pay for what you did to my family. Basically, Dio has killed the Midoriya bloodline, basically, as they were the only beings stronger, strong enough to be able to beat Dio. So he's killed them all. Besides Deku and his mom, as his mom doesn't have a stand. So Deku is like... So they... Deku just prepares prepares an onslaught of punches right at Dio as Dio's like hmm it's over Sawardo as Dio 
goes for a punch, only to have it blocked by Star Platinum. See ya, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. What if Diggy would stay in part three? Tomorrow's part four, and it's gonna finish up the battle with Dio. See ya, guys. Bye.